It's, oh my god, that's the caldera of a volcano, like this Yellowstone thing. We thought it was just this crazy place with hot springs. Like, no, that's a super volcano that is a continent killer. The Yellowstone volcano has been all over the news in recent weeks. This massive supervolcano that has been a major tourist attraction site for decades has recently forcefully opened up by a fissure crack that is 100 feet wide. Actually, 100 feet long. And it's not a fissure in the ground. It's a crack in some rocks above the popular Hidden Falls hiking trail. What's even more scary is that the volcano has been showing signs of erupting, and you have no idea what destruction it could cause if that happens. Everyone has been talking about this possible eruption, and Joe Rogan has warned about the crack and the seriousness of the situation. What was Joe Rogan's concern in his warning, and what could actually happen if the supervolcano suddenly erupts? Keep watching to find out everything about this impending disaster. In the middle of Yellowstone, where nature's hotness in the form of lava boils beneath the earth, sudden signs have put everyone on edge. The Yellowstone system immediately sent out an alert after a massive dome-like rise started to slowly form at the center of the volcano before eventually cracking it open. Fluctuations in the water levels of Yellowstone lakes have added to the growing concerns. The mysterious crack that appeared stretches 100 feet through the earth. Joe Rogan recently appeared on Stern's show and warned about the dangers of Yellowstone and its probable upcoming eruption. The big question is whether this massive volcano is getting active again, and if we're on the edge of a huge natural disaster. Our focus in this video is the untamed lands of the American West in Yellowstone National Park. Stretching across a wide 2.2 million acres, this park has stunning natural wonders, but mysterious geological formations and potential hazards are lurking below. Scientists worldwide are shocked and terrified by the hidden dangers lying deep within Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone is not just any volcano, it's a supervolcano called a caldera volcano. This kind of volcano is extremely powerful and can cause massive destruction. It's not like the regular volcanoes you might know about, it could even wipe out entire countries or continents. This volcano has a scary history of erupting every six to eight hundred thousand years. That means the danger is very real. This famous park has been known for its volcanoes for millions of years, but underneath its surface, there are signs of these powerful forces. Scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey are always watching Yellowstone closely. It's a super volcano, and it could be a threat to the whole world. Even though it hasn't erupted in over 64,000 years, it's left behind some strange features like craters and dome-shaped rocks. These were formed by really big natural disasters, like huge volcanic eruptions. Elon Musk's thoughts have added to the confusion about recent changes in the Earth's crust and how they might relate to a Yellowstone explosion. To really understand, let's talk about the Yellowstone caldera, the main focus. This huge crater formed during the last three mega-eruptions 2.1 million years ago. It's not just a part of the park, it shapes the entire region. The most recent big blast, around 631,000 years back, tossed out about 1,000 cubic kilometers of sand and items. It completely covered North America in ash and shook up the climate worldwide. But what happened next? Did Earth shrug it off? Not really. Yellowstone's story keeps unfolding with the rise of resurgent domes, a pretty big deal in nature. The magma under the caldera started filling up again, post the mega blast. That's what led to these surprisingly beautiful but risky geological formations. These coliseums aren't just fancy terrains in Yellowstone Park. They're massive structures, over 10 kilometers wide and hundreds of meters high. Sorek Creek Dome and Marred Lake Dome popped up together, but they're quite different in history and makeup. These domes aren't just tourist spots. They're crucial for understanding Yellowstone's underground heating systems and guessing what might happen down the line. Studying them shows how much the caldera floor has changed over time. This means that the Yellowstone volcano isn't idle. It's wide awake, ready to burst any time. Although it looks calm on the outside, there's a massive force below waiting to stir things up. And this is just the beginning. Elon Musk, 
a well-known scientist and businessman, added fuel to the fire when he discussed the Yellowstone supervolcano, raising awareness about the significant risks lurking beneath one of America's favorite tourist destinations. Elon dropped a bombshell. The Yellowstone supervolcano might already be erupting. Just the thought of such immense power happening in real life is very terrifying. The worst part is the saga of Yellowstone's awakening is only beginning. We need to brace ourselves. As time went on, the whole issue got even more serious because Elon didn't stop there. He proceeded by getting into the dangers posed by large volcanoes, including Yellowstone. Even though they might seem peaceful most of the time, they can unleash unimaginable destruction. Elon Musk's urgent message reminds us about the Yellowstone issue, showing how crucial it is for everyone to understand and prepare for potential dangers. To support the call for action, scientists uncovered a recent interesting discovery in Yellowstone, a raised dome within the volcano system. This finding challenges our existing knowledge about dormant volcanoes and sparks curiosity about what lies beneath the surface, motivating us to seek further knowledge and readiness. While observing fluctuations in the water level at Yellowstone Lake, Dr. Robert Christensen and Robert Smith from the University of Utah made a shocking discovery. They noticed that the Yellowstone caldera, watched closely by Ed Bob Smith, exhibited changing water levels across different areas of the lake. This peculiar observation hinted at a larger issue. The entire lake region appeared to be tilting, resembling a seesaw. This tilting suggested significant shifts in the underlying rock beneath the tranquil water. To better understand this, just imagine a shallow pan filled with water. When you tilt the pan, the water level rises on one side and falls on the other. This analogy illustrates how Yellowstone Lake behaves, indicating a force from below pushing upwards, causing movement in both the ground and the water above. That's not all. Dr. Christensen called this change a stunning, dome-shaped rise. Such rises could happen because of magma, which is liquid rock under the ground that pushes on the surface. Alternatively, they could originate from the park's geothermal system, where hot water and steam rise and push the ground upward. Regardless of the cause, these situations reveal an active and slowly changing magnetic system beneath Yellowstone, altering the shape of the land. Monitoring changes in Yellowstone's ground has advanced significantly with new technologies. Scientists can now detect even the slightest movements using GPS and INSAR, which means Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar. In the past, methods like Geodesy relied on leveling to measure vertical features. These tools represent a significant improvement. As technology advances, we gain deeper insights into Yellowstone's evolving geology uncovering new mysteries and understanding. In the past, geodesists started by carefully using a method called leveling to measure height differences. They did this using special tools and long sticks called graded staffs. By repeatedly taking these measurements, scientists created detailed maps of how the ground moved. They did this a lot in Yellowstone, where they placed over 500 markers during the first study in 1923. Surprisingly, Many of these markers are still there today in Yellowstone National Park. Nowadays, thanks to better technology, scientists can keep an eye on the changes beneath Yellowstone's surface all the time. Despite these fancy tools, if Yellowstone's caldera decides to erupt, there's not much anyone can do. Still, through studying Yellowstone, experts like Musk have learned a great deal about its history, the area around it, and how unpredictable it can be. A study conducted in Yellowstone Park after the 6.1 magnitude earthquake in 1975 revealed a surprising finding. The center of the caldera had risen by more than 28 inches since 1923, at an average rate of 1.4 centimeters per year. The ground was swelling at a faster rate than most plants grow, indicating significant changes. Scientists observed substantial alterations in the ground level at Yellowstone between 1923 and 1975, with the most significant rise occurring between two key areas, Mallard Lake and Sour Creek Rising Domes, which are close to famous sites like Old Faithful and Large Rapids. This is like how a trampoline surface bends when you stand on it, then slowly goes back to normal when you step off. Similar to this, the ground at Yellowstone rose from 1983 to 1985. 
Experts closely watched this rise, but in 1985, there was a big change. Many earthquakes occurred near the northwest edge of the caldera, causing the slowly rising ground to sink back down. This is called subsidence. Scientists concluded that rock, hot water, and steam, building up pressure beneath the surface, started leaking out. In 1995, something happened that made the ground rise in a crater. This change affected the floor of the crater in problematic ways. Some parts kept sinking while others rose. A new area of uplift appeared, rising faster than ever seen before. Scientists noticed a concerning connection between these movements and many earthquakes. This period of chaos revealed the immense power of Yellowstone. Things got just even scarier because this isn't the only thing about the Yellowstone volcano that scientists are worried about. What else is happening to the Earth that could be troubling scientists and environmentalists? Scientists are also still discussing a shocking discovery made recently near Hidden Falls in Grand Teton National Park. Overnight, a massive crack, over 100 feet tall and more than 300 feet long, appeared in a rock wall. This crack near Hidden Falls is now called the Hidden Falls Fissure. Many people, like Elon Musk, are really worried about it because it's very near the Yellowstone supervolcano. Its sudden appearance reminds us how unpredictable nature can be. The Teton area isn't right on top of Yellowstone's magma chambers, but it's still closely connected to the Yellowstone system. Discoveries like the Hidden Falls Fissure crack are scary, but not totally unexpected in an area that's always changing. But its closeness to the massive Yellowstone volcano has both scientists and the public more concerned, showing the importance of staying vigilant. When the Hidden Falls fissure shows up, it's a strong reminder of the things happening beneath our feet. This is definitely a clear sign that the Earth's crust is always moving. When the rocks in the crust are under a lot of stress, they crack and break in scary ways. This event shows how the Earth's crust is always changing, especially in places like Yellowstone, where this kind of thing happens a lot. It also shows how nature can be unpredictable because there's so much geological activity in the area. Everyone is very worried about the possibility of the Yellowstone supervolcano erupting. I mean, the last time it erupted was about 630,000 years ago. The big question now isn't if Yellowstone will blow up again, but when. Deep below the surface, there's a massive magma basin, showing how mighty and large volcanic forces are. If Yellowstone erupts, it would be really bad for everything nearby. We don't need to panic, but it's crucial to realize how serious this is. It wouldn't just affect nearby areas, it could impact the whole world. Joe Rogan was right when he mentioned that Yellowstone National Park is located on top of a massive supervolcano, one of the largest and most dangerous in the world. Scientists believe that the next time this volcano blows, it will be more powerful than ever seen nowadays. When it erupts, it will spew a massive amount of ash into the air. But this volcanic ash isn't like the soft, fluffy stuff you find in fireplace ashes. Instead, it resembles rough, fine sand. As it falls from the sky, it will cover everything below with a thick layer. This will make moving around very difficult and will have lasting effects on the environment and ecosystems. After a Yellowstone eruption, the affected areas would be in total chaos. Roads, trains, and planes wouldn't work at all, making it really tough to travel. People living there would need to stay indoors to avoid breathing in the rough ash, which can cause breathing problems and harm machines. The effects of ash go beyond being just annoying. It can damage buildings, make roofs collapse, disrupt power supplies, and pollute water sources, making them unsafe to drink. This makes life even harder for communities already facing challenges. Although ash clouds might seem like the clearest sign of an explosion at Yellowstone, the gases released are equally or even more dangerous. One such gas is sulfur dioxide, or SO2. When SO2 mixes with water vapor in the air, it forms sulfuric acid particles. These particles fall to the ground as acid rain, which can seriously harm the environment. Acid rain can make bodies of water more acidic, harming aquatic life and making drinking water unsafe. It can also damage plants, corrode buildings and infrastructure, and pose significant health risks to people and animals. A volcanic winter would also be one of the most noticeable and frightening effects of an eruption at Yellowstone. 
If a large amount of ash and gases were ejected into the air, a thick cloud would form, blocking out sunlight and causing a dramatic drop in temperatures worldwide. You can't even begin to imagine what else could happen. If a massive cloud from a volcanic eruption blocked the sun for months or even years, it would cause temperatures to plummet worldwide. This sudden and prolonged loss of sunlight would trigger a volcanic winter, which could feel like the end of the world. With temperatures dropping globally, crops would fail everywhere, leading to widespread food shortages and hunger. Elon Musk's recent comments show the important role of farming and global food systems in our modern society. Despite Yellowstone being closely monitored, an eruption could still put immense stress on our way of life. Not only would people struggle to obtain enough food, but they would also face challenges in staying warm and maintaining basic living conditions. The potential consequences of such an event show the importance of disaster preparedness and global cooperation in addressing threats to our food security and well-being. So how prepared are you? What can be done to control the destructive effects of the Yellowstone eruption if one happens soon? Predicting such events is actually very difficult, and this difficulty has added to our preparations. Even with the close monitoring by the U.S. Geological Survey, pinpointing when an earthquake might occur at Yellowstone could be an issue. Despite being extensively studied, Yellowstone's natural forces also make it challenging to forecast its future behavior accurately. Tremors and ground movements occur frequently, often dismissed as typical Yellowstone activity but identifying the subtle signs preceding an eruption can be hard. Recent research indicates that the lead-up to a Yellowstone eruption may be closer than we previously thought. This revelation has prompted concerns from public figures like Joe Rogan, who question our readiness to respond effectively to such a disaster. Immediate action is needed for evacuations, resource allocation, and disaster preparedness, especially in scenarios like now, where time is not much time. You should know it's very possible that we might not detect signs of an impending volcanic eruption until it's too late to fully comprehend the associated risks and impacts. To understand the potential consequences of a supervolcanic eruption, it's important to go back in time to historical events and their effects on affected populations. Our ability to prepare for future uncertainties hinges on our understanding of past occurrences. Studying the lava flows and fires that have molded Yellowstone National Park over millennia provides invaluable insights into the geological processes at play in the region. Between 170,000 and 70,000 years ago, a period of increased volcanic activity occurred, characterized by multiple massive eruptions rather than one prolonged event. Analyzing these historical records allows us to gain knowledge about volcanic eruptions and their aftermath, supporting our efforts to prevent future risks and safeguard vulnerable communities. We're not done yet. During these events, there were massive eruptions where a lot of hot, melted rock was thrown all over the land under Yellowstone. There's a big chamber underground filled with melted rock, gases, and minerals. This stuff causes these events to happen. When the pressure inside the chamber increased, it searched for weak spots in the Earth's crust to escape through. That's what caused the eruptions we're studying now. These historical events weren't just big for show. They also caused many different types of volcanic activity. The explosions sent out boiling lava that covered the ground and created layers of hardened rock over time. The lava flows, along with ash and pyroclastic material, affected the environment a lot. Examining Yellowstone's eruptions from a historical perspective reveals the deep impact on our modern way of life. Volcanic activity reshapes the land dramatically. When thick, viscous lava flows across rugged terrain, it transforms it substantially. Over time, the surface becomes smoother and more level as natural processes like erosion continue to shape the land. Yellowstone's valleys and basins are examples of such features. Moreover, the residual heat from cooling lava plays a crucial role in Yellowstone National Park's geothermal system. It contributes to the formation of geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles, all of which define the park's unique character. In a geothermal wonderland, magma, which is super-hot molten rock, sits beneath Earth's surface. Understanding its journey is necessary for comprehending how volcanic eruptions and dome formations occur. 
After a massive eruption that shaped Yellowstone Caldera, the once empty area gradually filled up again. Now here's another question. Where does magma come from, and how does it create domes like the ones recently discovered? Magma originates in the mantle, the layer beneath the Earth's crust. Here, temperatures skyrocket and pressures become intense enough to melt rock. In places like Yellowstone, pools of molten rock form when heat from Earth's core and various natural processes collaborate. Over time, magma moves upward from deep within the Earth's crust. It seeks out cracks and weak spots driven by powerful forces. This magma builds up beneath the caldera, pushing the rocks above it, akin to steam lifting a lid off a boiling pot. In Yellowstone, this pressure doesn't lead to explosive eruptions. Instead, it causes the ground to slowly rise, resembling the steady inhale of breath. Places like Sour Creek and Marred Lake domes, weakened by previous volcanic activity, usually bear the brunt of this upward pressure. The movement of magma from deep within the Earth not only powers volcanoes, but also changes the topography of the Earth, causing an uplift in dome-like formations. These areas, such as Sour Creek and Marred Lake, are reminders of past geological events that have left a lasting impact on our planet. When hot melted rock, called magma, pushes up from beneath the ground, it pushes the Earth up to form mounds. But why doesn't it always cause explosions? Well, the type of magma and the rocks around it play a major part. Not all magma acts the same because it's made up differently. In Yellowstone, the main type of magma is called rhyolite, which moves slowly and contains air bubbles. Over time, this mixture can build up pressure and cause big blasts. However, an explosion might not occur if the magma can release pressure slowly, like by pushing up the ground. The type of rock above the magma basin also matters a lot. If it's strong enough to support the pressure but flexible enough to bend without breaking, it can prevent explosions. Domes, like the ones on volcanoes, can help stop big explosions. When a dome forms, it means the volcano isn't going to explode suddenly. The way domes rise is connected to how volcanoes work, form, it shows that hot rock stuff is moving below the ground. This means the volcano is active. When the ground moves up, it can cause shaking, which we call earthquakes. This shaking changes how hot water and gases move around in the ground. Elon Musk and Joe Rogan have mentioned all these changes are connected and affect each other. It's like a big circle of changes. But domes are helpful. They act like a safety valve for the volcano. They let some of the hot stuff out slowly. This might make big explosions less likely, but it doesn't mean they won't happen at all. So looking at how domes form is really important. It helps scientists understand when and how volcanoes might blow up. And knowing that helps us figure out how to prepare for future eruptions. Do you think the huge crack in the Yellowstone volcano might cause it to erupt very soon? If yes, how soon? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with everyone, and subscribe to our channel. Don't miss our next video.